so I don't get the feedback like I did before. Close the screen. First off, want to welcome everyone to our Senior Parent Information Night for the Class of 2021. To start us off, we will have words from Mr. Workman, our principal. Good evening, Senior Class of 2021. Uh, Mr. Workman here, excited to uh, be able to present to you guys. This is an important evening. We've got a lot of information that's gonna be coming your way, so we really need you guys to focus and um, make sure that you're processing the information. I wanna say seniors, first of all, we miss you. I miss you guys, I miss seeing you, miss being able to talk with you at school. Hopefully, uh, sooner than later, we're gonna get you guys back on campus here. That's, that's obviously our, our, our desire. So we want you guys to be able to come back to school and uh, have, have part of your senior year and be able to do the activities uh, that we want to do with you. So um, hopefully, again, things will trend that direction and we'll be able to see you guys here uh, sooner than later. We do miss you. We miss being able to interact with you. We miss being able to speak with you and just see you from day to day. So in the meantime, seniors, it is very important that you guys are taking care of business uh, with your classes, okay? You need to be attending your sessions. You need to be participating. You need to be turning in your work, all right? Especially for some of the courses that are graduation requirements, doesn't matter how many credits you have, you have to pass senior English, you have to pass econ and gov. You've got to take care of business and I need you guys to make sure you're engaging and participating uh, during this time of distance learning, all right? Again, we want to get you guys back on campus and I hope that happens sooner than later, but in the meantime, while we are doing distance learning, it is very important that you are engaging and that you are participating and you are completing your assignments, okay? We, we wanna make sure you're progressing, you're earning your credits. So in the event we are allowed back on campus, um, you know, you're gonna be able to participate and do all the things that we've got planned and that uh, we would normally do during a senior year. All right, so students uh, hang in there. I know this is tough time for everybody right now. We're all, we're all trying to make the best of this. Um, I wanna encourage you guys to continue to do the same uh, continue to engage, continue to participate, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon here back on campus, all right? At this time, I'm going to turn things over to Ms. Payne, our yearbook advisor. She's got some information about yearbooks. We'll see you soon, Coyotes. Hey there, Coyotes. My name is Ms. Payne, and I'm your yearbook advisor. I just have some announcements about senior ads that I wanted to share with you and uh, how to get your senior photos taken. So on this first uh, slide, you're gonna see some information about senior ads. So we do have uh, senior ads available this year that are going in the yearbook. It's a great way for you to go ahead and give a shout out and show some support for your seniors. You have your first deadline is November 13th and the second deadline will take place on February 1st. And you have some various page sizes that are available. So the first price is available until November 13th, and then um, the prices will go up for the second deadline. So for an eighth of a page, it's $40 for the first deadline. On the second deadline, it will go up to 60. For a quarter page uh, is $70 for the first deadline, 90 for the second deadline. A half a page is 110. And by February 1st, 145. And for a full page, it's 190 for the first deadline and 225 for the second deadline. And you can find all of the page layout information in the informational packet that you can receive by emailing myself. So all senior ads are available at the web store. So you can pay with a credit card You'll be able to share your photos either digitally via email or you can go ahead and turn them into the front desk in an envelope and they will be delivered to myself. 
there's limited space. So make sure that you get your senior ads done quickly. Uh, and you can email Ms. Payne for any informational uh, items in the packet and the layout options. You wanna share your pictures this year with yearbook, we could definitely, definitely use your help. So this is how you can do it. We have replay it. The information on replay it is located on our website. Also on yearbook social media platforms such as Twitter and Instagram. And then I just wanted to give some information about senior portraits. So you can go to Cherished Memories to take these. It's located in Moreno Valley at that, uh, at that address. And they also have their phone number provided. You need to have these done, you guys, before Christmas, when we return from Christmas break. You get two clothing changes and the cost is $20 and up. If you do not have your senior pictures taken with Cherished Memories, you will not be pictured in the yearbook this year. We do not use ID card photos in the book. So make sure to get those done. And then the information to schedule your appointment is on this slide. You can go to the, their website or give them a call at the number on the screen. I wish you well, get those photos taken soon and we miss you. I can't wait to see you guys soon. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Zomalt, our athletic director. Class of 21, this is Mr. Zomalt, formerly known as Coach EZ. Um, I'm sure most of you have probably already heard that we started our return to athletics, our return to conditioning uh, last week. And so some teams have had the opportunity to, uh, to get out and, uh, and, and practice and, um, you know, and prepare for our uh, hopefully uh, upcoming uh, contest, um, you know, in December and January. So if that's something that you're still interested in, it's not too late to, um, to, to come out uh, for, for some of the teams. Some of the teams have already, you know, had tryouts and established uh, their roster. But in, in this first phase, uh, football, um, volleyball, cheer, and um, cross country are, uh, are the, the, the sports that have been approved uh, to start practicing at this current time. Football and cross country, I know for sure, are, uh, are still open to, uh, to having people try out. In order to come out uh, for a team and to participate, uh, you need a couple things. One, you have to be academic, you don't have to be academically eligible to practice, but you need to be academically eligible uh, in order to participate in a contest. So you have to take care uh, of your academics in order to, uh, to be a part of it. Uh, but we also have to submit an, an updated physical um, some of you might have played in the past or as recently as last year, those physicals expire. They're, they're only good uh, for, for, one, for one school year. So you have to get a new physical. You have to be cleared through our athletic department. Um, and we do everything online on athleticclearance.com. If you need any uh, help with that, if you've never done it before, there's a link on our, our school website uh, under the athletics tab which takes you through the physical exam form. You can download that and it walks you through the entire process <clears throat> for um, clearing yourself on athleticclearance.com. So we, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we hope to, uh, to be able to, to, to you know, have contests and games um, in, in early mid December and, and early January. And so hopefully if things continue to progress and, and we can make some, some, uh, you know, some, some moves in the, in the right direction, uh, will be approved to have full-fledged athletics. But in the meantime, uh, let's get out, let's get active, connect with your coaches. Their contact information is on our school website as well if you are interested in, uh, in, in coming out. So hopefully uh, the next time I see you, it'll, it'll be in, in person uh, with a mask on and physically distanced, but out on, on the practice field. All right, I look forward to it. All right, that's about it. Let's go OV. I'm gonna turn it over to, to Mrs. Zamora. Hey, good evening, students. I am Ms. Zamora, assistant principal here at Orange Vista High School. And I am going to be talking to you about um, AP test, test for AP readiness. Okay, so students, uh, there's going to be virtual classes on Saturday that, are, that is going to help you um, get ready for 
your upcoming AP test. So please make sure that you are joining those. It's very important that you do that so you can get ready. Uh, you may purchase tickets for $5.15 on the um, student store online for your AP test. Um, the testing window is May 3rd to May 14th. Please students make sure that you are communicating with your teachers and you're getting all the up-to-date information or any deadlines or any changes that may um, take place. Everything's still kind of fluid. So please make sure that you are communicating um, with your teachers about that. Um, and finally, if you have any information, uh, any further questions, you can always contact Mrs. Vargas on that email that is right there. Can't wait to see you guys. Now you're gonna hear from the counseling department. Good evening, OV seniors. So excited uh, uh, for our counseling uh, session that's gonna be happening. Um, I know you normally see me in discipline and you see me in testing, but now you're going to see Mrs. Graham in counseling. So yes, I am now I'm overseeing the counseling department. I'm very grateful and happy to do so. Um, I do have my information here on the screen. So if you ever need anything, please email me um, so we can get you to the appropriate people. Um, during this uh, session right here, we're kind of going to go, kind of go, go, excuse me, we're going to go back and forth um, so we can also do it in Spanish as well with uh, our uh, counselor, Mrs. Rivera. Um, we're going to talk about FAFSA, the DREAM Act, uh, college apps, credit recovery. And we do have some of our counselors here with us today. We have Ms. Van Sant here with us today. And we also have Mrs. Saludes with us. And also you can see on the screen, the counselors that we do have. We have Mrs. Clark, Mrs. Janice, uh, Mrs. McMahon, and then of course the three that I've already mentioned. So um, without further ado, we're gonna take it over to them. Hello, and to this time, Mrs. Saludas. I just wanted to remind you of our graduation requirements. Uh, graduation requirements are something that you really need to keep focus on and, and um, really memorize them because you want to be able to know what, your, what classes you are taking and what classes you need to talk to your counselor about that you're interested in taking. Uh, so as far as our graduation requirements go, we require 220 credits to graduate. Uh, our uh, we offer credit recovery in order to complete your A3G requirements and also to recuperate any grades that you may have um, in classes that you've not done so well in. So make sure you talk to your counselor so we can help you with that. Um, remember that counselors have mailed out letters to you guys. And uh, if you have any questions regarding that, please let us know as soon as possible. I know they're a little tricky to understand. Um, and I have had some, we've had some questions about them. So if you are concerned or um, think that you're, <laughs> on um, the fence of not graduating, please let us know as soon as possible. Um, we wanna make sure that you're on track to graduate. Uh, don't forget to complete your FAFSA and the California Dream Act. Dream Act. Um, please finish the sooner the better. Uh, you need to finish by March 2nd. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to call us. So we do have Spanish speaking counselors. So, you know, let us know and we're, we're gonna help you as much as we can. Uh, also remember that you need 40 hours of community service from a nonprofit organization. But right now we're still trying to figure out the ins and outs of this. Um, so just hang tight with us and um, try to do as much as you can and be creative about it so that uh, if we do decide that it, um, we're going to follow through with the requirement, then you'll be safe. So let us know if you have any questions. So I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Rivera so she can translate. Buenas tardes, soy la consejera Rivera. Um, nomás voy a hablar un poco de los requisitos para graduarse. Todos los estudiantes tienen que tener un mínimo de 220 créditos. Hay unos estudiantes que si todavía no tienen esos, uh, ese requisito pueden tomar recuperación de crédito para completar esos requisitos para graduación. Estudiantes tienen que hablar con sus consejeras para ver um, si necesitan tomar esas clases. Um, también la, uh, el departamento de consejería hemos uh, enviado cartas a la casa con información para los padres y los estudiantes para asegurarse que sí están en camino para graduarse. So pueden revisar esos, um, esas cartas que les mandamos en hace que, o sea, unas tres o cuatro semanas. Um, también otro requisito para graduación es completar la solicitud uh, gratuita de ayuda federal para estudiantes, que viene, viene siendo la FAFSA. So ese es un requisito que tienen que completar todos los estudiantes. Si no es la FAFSA, es el, la California Dream Act, y esa es la información que vamos a hablar en un poco 
sobre las diferencias de esas dos cosas. Todos tienen que entregarse antes del uh, 2 de marzo. Um, y lo último es que todos los estudiantes tienen que tener 40 horas uh, de servicios comunitarios. Ahorita en la situación que estamos, no estamos muy seguros si va a haber un cambio en eso, pero si tienen la posibilidad de seguir haciendo sus servicios comunitarios, por favor, sigan haciendo eso. Gracias. So as you can see from our screen here, we require 40 credits of English. We also require 30 credits of math, which include algebra and geometry. We also require um, 10 credits of either fine art, which can be um, uh, art class, ceramics, um, music, or world language. We also require 10 credits of world history, 10 credits of US history, 10 credits of government, which include of government and economics, which five credits for government and five credits of economics, 30 credits of science. The important thing to know about science is that you must include one year of a physical and one year of a life science, which is a life sciences biology and a physical sciences chemistry. We also require 20 credits of PE and 60 credits of electives, which becomes any um, all of the other classes that you'll take that are A3G, which is a total of 220 credits. And as a reminder, a credit recover will be given to any student that earns a D or an F grade for their semester grade. If you have any questions, please let us know. Los requisitos para graduarse son, um, tienen que tener los estudiantes um, cuatro años de inglés, son 40 créditos. Matemáticas tienen que tener 30 créditos. Eh, idioma o una clase de arte tienen que tener 10 créditos. Uh, clase de historia se requiere, um, historia mundial es 10 créditos. Historia del, de los Estados Unidos son 10 créditos. Gobiernos y economía son 10 créditos. Clases de ciencia son 30 créditos. Educación física, 20. Y electivos son 60 créditos. So, todos estos son créditos que han tomado desde el grado 9 al grado um, que están actualmente en el, es el grado 12. Y al determinar todo, tienen que tener 220 créditos a total. Um, si ofrecemos uh, recuper recuperación de crédito para estudiantes que tienen Fs o Ds. Las Ds, la razón que hacemos eso es porque una D no los mete a un colegio de cuatro años. La F no los gradúa de, um, de la preparatoria. Now, for those are not some, who are not familiar about our A through G requirements, A through G requirements are what students should fulfill in order to attend a University of California or a California State University. The great thing about the A through G requirements is that Orange Vista already sets you up to, um, if, you fulfill, if you fulfill the A through G requirements, you will graduate regardless. Orange Vista sets you up for this. We wanna make sure that you have options and opportunities. So as a reminder, you required for A through G fulfillment is two years of a history, which is category A, four years of English, which is category B, three years of math, which is category C, required once again is the geometry, two years of a lab science, three years recommended, and again is the life and the physical that's required. Two years of a language other than English, three years is recommended. For the English, it must be consecutive. I'm sorry, for the language, it must be consecutive. So if you take one year, your ninth grade year, you must take the second year during your 10th grade year. One year of visual performing arts and one year of a college prep elective. Once you fulfill all of this, you will be A through G and ready to go. Okay, los requisitos. Um, ya hablamos de los requisitos para graduarse de, um, de high school que viene siendo la preparatoria. Ahorita estamos hablando de requisitos para poder entrar o ser elegible para ir a un colegio de cuatro años directamente después de la preparatoria. Los requisitos son, tienen que tomar dos años de historia, que viene la, siendo la historia del mundo, del mundo y la historia de los Estados Unidos, uh, cuatro años de inglés, tres años de matemáticas, dos años recomiendan tres años de ciencias, um, tienen que tener un, um, dos años de idioma distinto al inglés, 
se recomienda tres. Bien, uh, también tienen que tener un año de artes visuales o escénicas um, y tienen que tener un año electivo de preparación universitaria. Aquí en la escuela uh, Orange Vista, todas las clases que toman los estudiantes son um, clases necesarias para graduarse al mismo tiempo para, para poder entrar a una universidad de cuatro años. La única diferencia, como les dije antes, es todos los estudiantes Um, que tienen DES en sus clases um, que han tomado, la tienen que repasar um, porque para entrar a un colegio tienen que tener um, un grado de C o mejor. Un grado D en una clase de inglés no los mete a una, a, a un, a una universidad directamente hasta que no la repasen. Okay, good evening, Coyotes, uh, senior families. Um, we're here to talk tonight also about our financial aid, um, completing the FAFSA, the Federal Application for Free Student Aid is um, a graduation requirement. Um, we have started that process just last week. Students created their FSA ID. Uh, they will need their social security number if they have one. If not, instead of the FAFSA, they'll be completing the California Dream Act, which we'll see in just a minute. Um, just remember, if you do need extra assistance throughout this process, we'll be having virtual workshops, um, and you can also schedule a virtual appointment with your counselor. And for more information, you can visit the website on the screen um, that will help you go step by step through the application process. The FAFSA is important because it helps keep our options open for post-secondary schools. Even if you're thinking about going to a trade school, um, by filling out the FAFSA, you can see if you have any financial aid um, coming to you from uh, the state and the federal government. So it's a great way to make sure that our students have all of the options available to them after they graduate. Okay, so uh, información sobre uh, la FAFSA. Este, esto es importante y es un requisito para graduarse. Um, es una oportunidad para, para darles a los estudiantes y a las familias um, <coughs> información de cuánto dinero uh, pueden recibir, a uh, donde pueden Um, tener los estudiantes que puedan ir a un colegio. Okay? Uh, vamos a tener um, vamos a tener diferentes sesiones virtuales donde podemos ayudar a los estudiantes y a las familias para llenar esta aplicación. Uh, y como dije, es, es a veces muchos estudiantes piensan que no pueden ir al colegio porque no, no tienen el dinero. Uh, cuando llenan esta aplicación, a veces se dan cuenta que sí calificaron por Depende en qué escuela um, por, di por dinero y entonces pueden hacer la decisión si sí pueden ir a, un, a una universidad, a un colegio de la comunidad um, o una escuela voc vocacional. So, hay diferentes maneras de seguir um, recibiendo sus, um, su, como sus diferentes cosas que quieren hacer ellos en el futuro. Entonces no queremos que ellos piensen que no pueden ir a la escuela después de, de high school porque no tienen el dinero. So por eso hacemos esta, un requisito para que podamos tener todas las puertas abiertas para que ustedes hagan la decisión mejor para, para su estudiante y para su familia. So there is an app on your available on your Android phone or on your iPhone that you can download that will also make it very easy to complete the FAFSA application online or on your app. So, otra cosa que hemos, que hemos um, vi, o queremos uh, darles a saber a la familia es que hay una aplicación en el teléfono que si pueden um, descargar, uh, esta, la aplicación es de FAFSA y esa es una manera más fácil también para tener la información en su, en su celular. We also have the California Dream Act. It has the same deadline as the FAFSA. It's due March 2nd. But again, we like to have all of our students complete as soon as possible because it helps inform them how much money they will have available for them to complete education after high school. Uh, the California Dream Act is specifically for undocumented students. Um, it makes certain that undocumented students are eligible for state and university financial aid that comes directly from the schools. So the students will receive grants, that's money that they do not have to pay back, but not necessarily federal aid. Um, please visit the website link below um, to begin the, the California Dream Act application, if that applies to you. 
Ok, so tenemos la California Dream Act. Esto es para estudiantes que son um, indocumentados. La solicitud de California Dream Act es, hace que ciertos estudiantes que son indocumentados sean elegibles para recibir um, ayuda financiera um, estatal y universitaria. Los estudiantes reciben becas, pero no ayudas federales. Y abajo está um, información de, es, de el California Dream Act. Okay, and we'll also be providing uh, workshops for the California Dream Act. Same process, you can make an appointment with your counselor or look for our virtual workshops to walk you through the process. Y también vamos a tener sesiones para ayudarlos con la California Dream Act. Otra vez es importante comunicarse con su consejera um, para que los ayuden en el proceso. The biggest thing that we want you to know about the federal financial aid process is that most of this money is grant money that you do not have to pay back. So qualified students um, can receive up to $6,000 in a federal Pell Grant. Um, also, if you qualify for Pell Grant, that's if you meet the um, financial income, which we'll show you in just a minute, and you have a 3.0 or above GPA, you can be awarded up to $12,570 for University of California schools. 5,742 for Cal State universities and up to $9,084 for private universities. The Cal Grant B um, is if you have a 2.0 GPA or above and you demonstrate severe financial need, that's an additional $1,672 that can be used at a four year school or at a community college. There are also Cal Grants for technical vocational schools. If the student meets the income eligibility for a Cal Grant C, they're awarded up to $1,094 to use at a technical or vocational school. Additionally, if you qualify for a middle class scholarship, that's students that have less than 40% of their UC or Cal State fees um, covered by grants and scholarships. Um, if a family has income of less than $177,000, Um, they will be able to attend a UC and get an additional $5,052 or a Cal State and get an additional $2,298. So the biggest message we want to send is that the money is available for students to attend a four-year school, um, a technical school, or a community college if they desire after high school. But the biggest step is completing that FAFSA or California Dream Act to receive that Cal Grant money. Ok, so estamos hablando de, um, de FAFSA y del uh, California Dream Act. La razón que llenan la aplicación es porque um, dan dinero a uh, subsidios. Entonces, um, esa oportunidad, como les estaba diciendo antes, les da oportunidad de mirar cuánto dinero pueden recibir los estudiantes. Un subsidio no se, no se tiene que, um, el dinero que les dan no se tiene que devolver. Um, so, hay diferentes uh, subsidios. El primero que está viendo ahí es el subsidio federal y esto dan hasta seis mil dólares para estudiantes que son documentados. Uh, tenemos el subsidio A, que son para los estudiantes que tienen un promedio de calificaciones de un 3.0 y di dan diferente um, dinero, depende a la escuela que van a, a ir. Um, y al mismo tiempo tienen que... Um, que mirar eso porque si quieren ir a un UC, les, el dinero que les dan, um, el subsidio que les dan va a ser $12,570. Para ir a un Cal State es $9,084, um, digo $5,742. Y para ir a una universidad pri, uh, privada es $9,084, que les pueden dar hasta ese, um, ese, ese dinero para ayudarlos a, a seguir a, a las escuelas universitarias. También tenemos un subsidio um, B, que esos son para estudiantes que tienen un promedio de calificaciones de 2.0 um, y ellos necesitan servicios financiero, financieros. Depende de cuánto dinero gana la familia y to, todo eso toman en cuenta para ver cuánto dinero se les, se les da. Um, si agarran ese subsidio B, les dan a uh, lo máximo 1,672. Uh, también tienen subsidio C, que es para estudiantes que deciden ir a una escuela técnica vocacional o um, quieren ir a, a, un, a una escuela nomás de, que se enfoca en sus carreras. 
y eso les dan lo máximo mil, um, 1,094, okay? um, También tienen um, la otra que viene siendo, um, los requisitos son un poco diferente para el que está viendo el Middle Class Scholarship y eso es como una, una beca um, y eso son para estudiantes que están recibiendo menos de 40% de dinero para las escuelas universitarias de cuatro años y, este, y también tienen que tener el requisito de cuánto dinero gana la familia um, y no puede ser más de 177 mil dólares. Um, y si eso, y si eso sí si le dan al estudiante, les dan hasta 5,052 si van a ir a una, a una escuela de UC o si van a ir a una escuela de Cal State, les dan 2,298, ¿ok? Y de todo esto, lo más importante es saber que si aplican, les dan una buena um, información y decisión para que ustedes hagan, como le dije, para usted y para, para sus estudiantes y para la familia. Eso es muy importante um, y el requisito que tienen que uh, llenar esta aplicación para ver si califican para diferentes subsidios. This is the basic information for Cal Grant income. Uh, all financial aid for students is based on a combination of members of the family um, and the income level. And that helps to determine what they call the expected family contribution towards college. Um, and then that um, total cost of tuition minus the expected family contribution comes out to be um, what the California state and federal government can allow for financial aid. So if we take a look at this chart, you can see the basic um, family size um, with the parent and then students dependent on that parent. Um, and then um, the family sizes as it goes up in family size, so does the income level. Um, so this is just a basic chart for you to look at to determine kind of where your family falls in this. It does not necessarily determine um, your eligibility because they are looking at um, the bigger whole. Okay. Uh, we do want you to know as well that um, the schools are also and the federal government taking into account um, the recent COVID pandemic. Um, so while financial aid will be based on your 2019 taxes, um, you'll have to file your, your, Cal or your uh, California Dream Act or your FAFSA using those 2019 income levels. However, once you file, you can contact the financial aid offices at the college to explain your family situation. Um, example, if um, one parent lost income because of the um, pandemic, um, then the college will work with you to adjust that income level after you complete that process. So, um, ok, esa es información, un ejemplo de cómo um, se basa el, el, el estado o, o el um, um, para dar dinero a los estudiantes. Um, y otra vez, esto nomás es un ejemplo. Está viendo ahí como si tienen um, una familia de seis o más en la familia. Ellos se ven en los ingresos que han tenido para ver si los estudiantes califican para recibir um, asistencia uh, federal donde no se tiene que repagar um, esos préstamos. O no préstamos, pero el dinero que les dan. Un préstamo es diferente y eso también se les, se les da la oportunidad a los estudiantes de también recibir en los colegios. Pero esa es más información que cuando llenan la aplicación, les mandan una carta de decirle cuánto um, dinero recibió el estudiante para, um, para poder ir al colegio. So, después de que se llena la aplicación, en unas semanas les mandan una, un, una información en, en qué califican. Pero eso, como les dije, es un ejemplo nada más para que ustedes puedan ver cómo um, dan el dinero para que puedan ir los estudiantes al colegio o a una escuela vocacional y cosas así. Lo único que sí hemos visto es que, um, y que nos han dicho a nosotros es que los ingresos que van a poner son los que hicieron para el año uh, 2019. Um, pero nosotros con lo que ha pasado con el COVID, hemos not, um, sabemos que han ha habido cambios en los ingresos de familias y entonces también eso lo que nos han dicho en las escuelas de las universidades es que los estudiantes pueden hablar con el, um, la asistencia financiera de la escuela donde quieren ir y ellos toman eso en cuenta. Si 
uno, si un padre perdió el trabajo y ya los ingresos son menos, entonces ellos toman eso en consideración para que puedan hacer um, los cambios necesarios para, para ver qué dinero o cuánto es en lo que califican para uh, poder ir al colegio. Y ahí ahorita se lo vamos a pasar a la señora Green. Ok, Miss Green, you're up. All right, well, before we have Ms. Green, I just wanted to wrap it up. Thank you all so much, counselors. Thank you, Mrs. Rivera, for translating. That was awesome. Thank you, Ms. Saludas and Ms. Van Sant uh, for giving us that information, that important information. Seniors, I know it's a trying time right now. Um, we've got a lot going on and a lot going on in your head, but make sure you reach out to us. We are all available. All the counselors are available to you. Um, please uh, make sure you email them if you need something. Um, and we just wish you the best of luck and we hope to see you soon filling out your FAFSAs and your college apps. And now to Mrs. Green. Hello, how are you guys doing this evening? Oh my goodness. It has been a road for us all getting up to this point. I just want to say that you guys, it's, it's, it's a long time coming. I understand um, that you what you guys are going through, some of the things that we're missing out on. Um, we're still trying to keep it as upbeat as possible as we're going through everything um, from an activity standpoint. Just make sure you stay connected, stay connected with each other. You guys will always have this to talk about. So when we're talking about a 10 year reunion, remember our senior year that didn't start and everything else, but it's like, okay, let's make the most of it. Let's make sure we're celebrating, take care of your business when it comes to your college applications and the FAFSA. Um, and your career, where you guys are, want to go, just make sure you guys are taking the time right now to develop that plan. So as it is right now, typically it would be like activities galore, but we just have to scale back based off of the current situation that we're in. So we're just kind of moving along as we can. So let me start off with your senior spirit package. You guys still have a senior spirit package happening. So don't think that senior year is canceled. It definitely isn't. Um, we're starting off with your short sleeve shirt, um, your senior spirit package that your, your co-presidents have put together for you. Short sleeve shirt, all your names will be on the back, sweatshirt, mugs, yard sign, lanyard, and the panoramic picture. So as it is, right this second, right this second, we extended the, the, the um, deadline to tomorrow. So you guys have until tomorrow to get the senior spirit package at $60. And then after that, it's going to go up to $75. And we're only doing these things on pre-sale just because we want to make sure we're not buying, over buying um, the product that we have. So let's make sure you guys are um, getting those taken care of ASAP. Um, hold on one moment for me. Okay. Just making sure you guys can see me on here. Alrighty, and then senior info. So we're in the process of revamping the website right now. So we're gonna make sure that there is a tab for you guys to always stay connected on what's going on. So if you don't have social media, you can always go to our school website to make sure that you guys always get the information. So parents, you'll wanna come here as well. Um, and the website is right down at the bottom of the page. You're gonna wanna go to the activities um, tab and then click on senior info class of 2021. And we'll make sure we continually put information up there. Oh my gosh, typically this has a, all these dates on here. Um, as it is right now, April 17th is still the planned date for our prom. Um, prom right now is based out in Orange County at the House of Blues. So therefore the CDC guidelines are different. Um, so we kind of have to keep track of both Riverside County as well as Orange County um, guidelines. Um, as far as um, health and public safety. Um, also, when it comes to our amusement park visits, both Six Flags and Disneyland have put out dates. So you guys, we're crossing our fingers. The only way that we can return to doing the things that we're used to doing um, is if we are socially distancing, if we are wearing our masks, you guys, we need to stop the spread of this thing. Like what we can do in our, on our part, that's what we need to do. So let's make sure we are doing our part and hopefully it uh, will affect all of the United States so we can get back to, to doing some of our normal things that we like to do. Um, but as I said, while we are still planning for activities and things to happen, 
nothing's for certain, and therefore we're not gonna provide you with information until um, the time is right. Um, I know a lot of people have asked, oh, can we have packages? Once we find out if we're able to do some things, then yes, we will provide packages for, for you all in order to get those done. We're gonna try to keep cost as minimal as possible. Um, we just don't know what we can do. So as the restrictions, the health restrictions and things are put out and what those guidelines are, that's what's gonna help us determine what events we'll be able to have for you guys in the near future. Um, the big question, when is graduation? Typically we would have that date for you, but like I said again, everything is based off of what is happening with our health and safety. So don't expect to hear anything until late April and maybe even pushing it to early May as far as what a definitive date will be. Do we know what graduation will look like? No, we don't know if we'll be able to have a traditional graduation. We don't know if it'll look like last year's graduation where we had the, the drive up. Um, right now, there's, we are, there are no answers to be given as far as graduation goes, as far as the type of graduation and or the date, okay? Everything is completely fluid. So we just need to kind of be patient with everything. But as soon as we know, we will definitely share that information with you. Um, and I would like to say, stay connected. You have all these avenues um, to, to stay connected with what's going on. This presentation, if you have missed anything um, or if you would like to watch it again, um, after tonight, it will be posted on the website on that senior page. So you guys will always have the information available to you. And as it is right now, um, we do have cap and gown information. Um, Jostens is joining us on this call as well. So um, cap and gowns, they're $35 plus tax. Um, Jostens is gonna also speak to us about announcements graduation products, and right now our deadline is set for January 1st. So we are still moving forward with everything. However, um, we just wanna make sure you have what we know you can have at the time being. So with any further ado, um, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it over to our Justin's representative. You guys, love you so much. Hopefully this stuff will come in, or will end soon. And after this presentation, we'll be able to answer questions that you guys may have. Thank you very much. I'm trying to make sure I'm, my life is good. I stopped the live stream. Meeting is now.